Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics lessons and today we are going to talk about forensic genetics and as you know there is a CODI system with 13 core STR loci and STR loci is such loci on the uh, human genome where we can find multiple alleles in the gene pool. Usually uh, scientists have chosen such sites where we can find between 10 and 30 different alleles. So in most cases such loci would be heterozygous because multiple alleles exist for the same locus. In this karyotype you only see one chromosome but you understand that we have two chromosome number one, two chromosome number two, two chromosome number three and so on for all 23 pairs of chromosomes. So uh, that's why in one locus we may have two different alleles and when we analyze all the loci the power of exclusion so great that probability that we are going to find another person with such genotype genetic profile would be about 1 in 10 billion people and if we have suspect with the same profile as we have found at the crime scene this would be very powerful tool to prove in a court that this person is a person who committed this crime but these rules are applied to general population but what if this suspect which is shown here says that he has a brother who is now deceased and this brother is a person who committed this crime and not our suspect. Let's imagine that DNA sample of this deceased brother cannot be taken. Now imagine that this surviving brother says that he cannot be convicted because they are so closely related with his brother that general rules like uh, as I said the probability that two unrelated people would have the same genetic profile would be about 1 in 10 billion people. Now the surviving brother can say that probability of two brothers having the same genetic profile is going to be very high so high that he have to be released if uh, we cannot prove that uh, this is exactly his genetic profile and not of his brother. What our calculations in this case are going to be imagine that mother has for certain locus let's say for this locus here VWA and she is going to be heterozygous for example she is going to have allele A1 and A2 and father is also going to be heterozygous and going to have different allele for the same locus and this is going to be allele A3 and A4. What genotype these brothers may have for this particular locus? Let's build simple Punnett square. So here is a genotype of the mother A1 and A2 and here is a genotype of the father A3 and A4. So let's build simple Punnett square and take a look what are the possible genotypes in the progeny A1, A3, A2, A3, A1, A4 and A2 and A4. So as you see four different genotypes are possible so probability that both brothers would have the same genotype let's say that the first brother is going to have genotype which is A1 and A3. So in this case he is going to inherit A1 allele from the mother side and A3 allele from the father side. And what is the probability that his brother also is going to be of the same genotype for the same locus. And as you see if the first brother has this genotype 
the probability that the second browser is going to have the same genotype for the same locus is going to be uh, 1 out of 4 or probability is going to be 1 quarter. Amel locus on the X and Y chromosome doesn't have multiple alleles, only two allele. And uh, if we have two of the same alleles in our genetic profile, that means that this is female, because only female may have two X chromosomes. There is no way that person may have two Y chromosomes. So whether it is going to be one band or two bands, if it is going to be a male. So for our genetic profiling, we basically rely on 12 loci. So what is going to be our calculations? For each locus here, we expect the same probability that two brothers would share the same genetic profile. So we have one quarter probability to share the same genetic profile for each locus and we have 12 such genetic loci. So probability to share the same genetic profile for two brothers, full siblings, 5.9 times 10 negative power 8. So, so as you see about 6 cases out of 100 millions, it is very small number. So the claim of this person that he just by chance shares the same genetic profile as his brother and their close relative. So this is very um, possible, actually is not very possible. And this is going to be a proof for court that this person committed this crime. Even if the court doesn't have genetic profile of the diseased brother. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.